moment for a long time but finally I decided to tackle some of McNuffler's electric guitar solos. Disclaimer, I dreaded this moment because trying to play Mark's solos is like trying to repaint the Mona Lisa and I'm not Leonardo. Mark's style is so complex, the way he's holding his hand while playing and economic movements makes it nearly impossible to pick up what he's doing even if you have a video. So with Mark you rely almost exclusively on ears. And even if you know what he's doing, he still managed to, manages to beat you in this imaginary battle because he's a genius and not a guy from Russia with a mini squire. This is the solo from the song The Buck, taken from Dire Straits on the Night DVD. When I was a kid I played on the Night DVD to death and always loved this solo. It's one of my favorite moments in this whole recording. Never tried to learn it though, but now I try to learn it and it's quite astonishing. It's hard to play, but especially it's hard to teach because so much is happening here that the complete instruction, instruction will probably take hours. And it's only one version of this one little solo. Mark played dozens of these, flying across the neck night after night, always different. The main obstacle here is the tempo. The song is very fast and moving and the solo is much faster than you might think and as if it wasn't enough, it's filled with challenging rhythmic beats, some triplets going, Mark's signature extended licks, interesting notes, choices. Even the first beat is already challenging. I play it like this. I pluck two notes with my middle and index fingers and then play the first string with my thumb and index at the same time. By doing so I can achieve this awesome percussive feel. See that? Though the same thing could be played using the thumb and index fingers only. And I like three fingers more because that's just faster. Also, right after the bend, I block the I block the third string so it won't produce some unwanted noises. A good idea is also to lift the index finger here in the left hand. before the band to make it easier to play
and that's only the first beat, Jesus. Now the next beat is something very familiar. Every Knopfler fan would instantly recognize this. It's the famous so-called Tweedly beats from Sultans of Swing. The same exact thing on the different notes and accents. It's again thumb and index fingers working in perfect harmony. The movements are like this. Thumb, pull off, thumb, index, repeat. Only in the Twiddly beats and Sultans would start on the first beat. One, two, three, four. And here it starts on one end, so half a beat later. One, two, three, four. In other words, in Sultans the downbeat is on the thumb and in the bug the downbeat is on the pull-off. Here is what I call an extended leak. This is where you expect the phrase to end. But Mark hits you with a longer version. He does it all the time, constantly. It's one of the main elements of his signature style of playing, these long and unexpected surprising lines. What's even happening here? How am I supposed to teach that? It's like playing with a pick. It's all index and thumb back and forth, slowly. then continues to this 12 12 bar 12 fret bar thing the second part of the solo is especially challenging as it's fast and covers almost the entire neck the moves are quite unusual and the rhythm is extra tricky and it starts on two and like this. One, two, three, four, one, two. The first beat is like in the beginning. Going down with a slide. interesting rhythm. And 
and the tasty, I don't know, arpeggios, how to call these things. Starting with the same percussive thing, by the way. Starting with one E and then double E. Tasty, tasty stuff. About these arpeggios, the rhythm is hard. The first one goes right after the blues drop. So technically on one end, one. And it's uh, this three fingers thing again. Or two fingers. Then this lick here. The idea is to anchor this blues, bluesy drop, the pull off thing. is the same. It's a very singable lick. tricky thing I'd recommend learning with a metronome, singing and counting. Tap your food, do everything to succeed. The fast phrase ends with a little sentence. Mm. After a split second, enough to go to the last beat, which is more straightforward. It's the pull off triplets thing with two fingers going all the way down. The bottom E. It's frets 3-2. Two and one, and bends on three. Very satisfying, especially after all this madness before and at full speed. solo alone Mark goes from the 14th fret on the first string to the bottom E in a matter of seconds. With lots of tasty notes in between. I know some people say his playing was predictable and boring on this tour, but I can't see anything boring here, especially considering an entirely new solo each time he played. 
this man never ceases to amaze me. So, with all that being said, uh, try to an analyze what's happening here in the first solo from the same song. A lot of things I discussed in, the vi in this video could also be applied here. <laughs> play it slowly. you've learned something new. This is new territory for me and I know people love this electric guitar stuff. That's why I worked hard, hard as always and got blisters both on my little finger and on my thumb. Stuff like this really gets you to work. I made tabs for both solos so you can find them in the description. Keep muffling and bye.